Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are in Overlook Bay and I'm going to be showing you some easy ways on how to make some money or gems, I guess you can say, since this game's currency is gems. There are so many money opportunities in this game and that's why I really love playing this game because you don't feel like you're broke all the time. As you can see, I have 11,620 gems and basically I kind of just did a lot of the things that I'm going to show you in today's video on how I received that much. I'm going to start off by first showing you um, the screen that you see when you log in. So like your daily login screen. So whenever you log into Overlook Bay for the first time of the day, you will be greeted with this daily login screen and basically every day you can win a prize. And as you can see, there is a lot of like money and gem opportunities especially like on these days right here as you can see you get some tickets um there's like a gold no that's a bronze ticket you have a silver gold and a diamond ticket and there's just a bunch of like money opportunities whenever you get to log it daily so today i am on streak 33 and every month it kind of just resets to like i know it says day one day two day three but it still says your streak up here and today I am getting, let's see, I'm getting 20 gems. Okay, so awesome. We got some easy 20 gems, as you can see. Okay, so that is the first way you can make easy money in Overlook Bay. The next thing you can do is go to the wishing well. So if you guys don't know where the wishing well is, I'm going to quickly spawn to the town. So whenever you spawn to the town, this is kind of where you spawn. And over there is the pet shop. And then over there is like the apartments and stuff. You'll see like this little board thing. But to go to the wishing well, all you have to do is go back here where the waterfall is. As you can see, like the big waterfall and this little pond area and as you can see the wishing well is located near like a bridge and just like everything as you can see this is what it looks like around the um, wishing well and as you can see you're most likely going to receive gems and then you can also receive like pet tickets and also the new legendary banana cow which is 0.5 percent which is very rare i have never gone one before um i was really close to getting one but as you can see there you have like a 40 percent of getting like 50 gems 35 percent being 75 and stuff like that so you know you can get gems from the wishing well and i haven't done this today yet so i'm going to show you guys quickly what it is to make a wish so this is what it looks like right here it's kind of like a little spinning game thing and we'll see what i get today um it's probably most likely going to be gems yes yeah. so as you can see i received 50 gems and then also another way to get some gems is to easily like do these tasks right here so the first task i just completed is like making a wish at the wishing well and right there i just got 10 gems and as you can see you can collect fruit for 50 gems you, you can collect 16 seashells artifacts you can open like an ultra rare pet um some of these i'm actually going to show you guys today if you play for like 30 minutes you get like 50 um gems and that's a really easy task to do as you can see, I've been playing for like seven minutes so far, so that's why it says seven down there out of 30. And then also if you like age up pets or like catch fish and like completing needs, like there are so many opportunities. And this one is like the biggest one. This one is transforming two pets into a shiny pet. All right, so the next way you can easily get some money is to take care of your needs. And as you can see, like you'll see like your needs show up on the left hand side of your screen. So right now I am bored. So I want to go skating. I probably should hurry because I'm, as you can see, it's red. And when it's red like that, that means it's going to disappear pretty soon. So when you first get it, it'll show up as yellow and then it'll turn orange like this when it's been a while. And then it will turn red like this when you kind of need to hurry. Okay, so I'm going to get out my car. I don't know why I'm running or walking over there and I'm going to take a little mini shortcut if I don't crash my car. Okay, so this is a skating rink right here and basically you can go to like many different places in Over Overlook Bay and kind of just take care of your needs. Um, as you can see, since I am in the roller skating rink, my needs thing is kind of just going up. 
And also, one thing I didn't know until like a few weeks ago is that when you first start playing Overlook Bay, you might not know where everything is at. So if you click on the task, it'll ask you like, do you want to enable knee trackers? If you are out and about on the map and you're not sure where something is, click on the needs and it'll have like arrows pointing to the place where you're supposed to go to um, take care of those needs. Okay, so I am almost done. And I want to see if this one will track my house. So this one is the, ew, my hands are sticky. I need to go home and wash my hands. So yeah, as you can see, it kind of has like a knee tracker. Let me do this again. Okay, so I don't know why it's pointing towards the neighborhood over there since I live in the apartments. But yeah, I'm going to easily just go home. You can like teleport home and then easily spawn your car again. Okay, all right, there we go. Okay, so... To do this need, all you have to do is have access to like a sink. And right now I only have a bathroom sink. I didn't put any in my kitchen, which I'm thinking about doing. Okay, so now that it is nighttime, as you can see, um, every night you will get like this sleeping need, which is I'm so tired, I'm gonna pass out, go to sleep in your bed, and the reward is 15 gems. Every single need will say how much gems are on the bottom, which you will receive after you complete the task. So the next way is to spin the pet wheel at the pet shop, which I'm going to spawn at right now. So we are going to go to the pet shop, which is located over here. Um, a lot of people ask me like, how do you spin the pet wheel? And in order to do that, you need these like paw badges. I believe it's what it's called, paw badges. And in order to get paw badges, all you have to do is age up your pet. So every time you age up a pet to like level one, level two, level three, you will get paw badges and you need at least 100 paw badges in order to spin the wheel. So right now I have 130 and I can only spin it once, unfortunately, because I spun it like so many times during this week. But as you can see, you have a big chance of getting gems. You can also get like pet tickets and then pets as well. So this time I am just getting a common pet. Um, but most of the time you will get gems. I didn't get any in this time, but as you can see, you can get gems from the pet wheel. Okay, so the next way I'm going to show you on how to get gems is a way that I use to get a lot of gems like this. And basically that is catching fish and seashells finding seashells on the beach or anywhere where there's sand and selling it to the fisherman all you have to do is find where water is at so right here is like a little river thing and as you can see this is a seashell um you can actually see these from far away if you see something sparkling on like sand or something that is going to be a seashell or starfish or something else that you would need to pick up um it'll also probably be an artifact if you see like an x on it but all you have to do is press e and you get to pick that up and if you're wondering where those seashells are stored go to your backpack and go to the open box and everything right here will be stored to like the artifacts the fish you catch and the seashells so that was one seashell but you'll find a lot of seashells in this like water area as well as the beach and also another area which is way over there by the lighthouse which I will show you later on but yeah that is another way you can easily make some money is finding all the seashells let me see I'm going to take you guys along with me to find most of these seashells so I can show you and right there as you can see she is fishing which I will show you next okay so I know this takes a lot of like time just trying to search for everything and like swim through this but trust me it is worth it the most expensive seashell that you can get is the starfish which is like 15 gems I think you can get like 15 gems from selling starfish and most of the time you'll find just like seashells but sometimes you'll find some starfish and every like type of seashell that you'll see has like a different currency just like different fish which I will show you once we go to like the fisherman's ward I think that's what you call it yeah fisherman's ward and as you can see you can see a lot of like you can see like two sparkling items over there so that is going to be where some seashells are so i guess you can say this is kind of like a beginner guide for people who are starting to play overlook bay and actually okay so i know in a previous video i said that they were going to be free but wonder work studio actually delayed their free like game until like two weeks later so this friday should be free 
for sure for sure for sure they're not going to delay it anymore i know that a lot of people really want to play this game and they don't have the robux to play it so stay tuned for that all right so we found most of the seashells in this little bay area over here so now i'm going to bring you to another part of the map that will most commonly spawn seashells so if we go all the way over here it takes a while to get there um but if we go all the way over here near the uh, what'd you come i call it then? a life house okay so near the life house there will be this beach by this bridge area and a lot of seashells and artifacts will spawn here too so as you can see he, we have some seashells another way to get money is digging up artifacts and in order to get access to your shovel i didn't know this when i first started playing all you have to do is go to this little toolbox in your backpack and there will be like a little shovel right there as well and i'm going to dig up the artifact and it's going to be stored in my backpack all right so we're going to go to the beach next which is by the lighthouse as well it's going to be over here and you'll find more seashells and everything and more like artifacts and stuff as you can see there's one over there there's like tons of seashells and artifact over there and then one over here and then on the island so there's so many oh my gosh there's a lot of walking around in this game i will say that so if you have the money to buy yourself a car do so um i think you can actually get a free car once you join overlook bay you automatically get a free car it's one of the blue ones i actually didn't get one of those for some reason so i had to buy one or maybe when you buy one it like goes away i don't know it's one of those ones over there um there's another one over there driving too but I'm just going to pick up these seashells. I'm also going to dig this artifact. And we just completed one of the tasks in here, which is collect two artifacts. So you get 25 gems for that. And also, guys, this is a funny thing. Okay, so I used to swim across the water, but it took forever. So now I just drive across it like this. Do not do this in real life. FYI, do not do this in real life. Okay. All right. So once we found our seashells, um, we also can get like another task to collect 16 seashells, which I've already done. We went all the way around the map. Basically, all you got to do is tap the water like this and wait for that little green bar to show up. And what you want to do is you want to hit the circle in the, the little circle section right there and you'll get like different types of fish so right here we have the uncommon veggie fish so next thing that i want to do is show you how to actually get money from like finding seashells and fishing so if you go up to like this little building right here it is the selfish here shells like fisherman's ward and these are like the sell prices so for the ones that we caught they're like three gems five gems and then this one's a legendary one that's like 15 and the starfish is 15 so as you can see these are the prices that you will get for selling your fish seashells so if we go to marlin barnacle you have to talk to him first in order to like sell it and right here we just press sell and he's gonna ask um what you found for him or like what you are trying to sell and then you just press sell items and then you just click all the items that you would like to sell so like the fish the starfish and the seashells and if we press sell we he'll tell you how much um he'll buy it for and it's kind of like animal crossing in a way if you played it so for right now i am going to be getting 285 gems woohoo we have 12,000. and the last way to receive gems in overlook bay is to find the fruit trees and shake the fruit off and then sell that to the farmer so when i thought of this i was like what trees self what trees can i shake that have fruit on it and as you can see from a distance this pink tree right here has some fruit and you will find this all over like overlook bay like you'll find pink trees everywhere i know that it might be confusing at first and overwhelming when you first start playing and you're just like where do i find all the trees so the next thing you want to do is once you finish shaking all the fruit trees you are going to go to the supermarket or the, the grocery store and it's right next to the apartments and the pet store um where you spawn in the town is like over there so if you go to clyde right here you can actually sell fruit and those are just like the sell prices right there as you can see i think that's like a peach 
yeah but peach is going to be the most expensive he kind of talks a lot so we are going to press sell items and right now i just have these ones because that's how much i like shook off the trees for this he is going to offer 62 gems and this is another great way to get like 200 dollars easily an easy 200 dollars for shaking all the trees so you usually can only see the scientist during the night um this is doc mcfly but with the quest going on um i believe you can see him during the day too but if you're wondering on how to sell your artifacts all you have to do is go to the lighthouse go in the basement find doc mcfly and sell all of your um artifacts to get some money so right now i'm going to get oh 300 woohoo that's awesome yay so we are 300 gems more rich or so but yeah that is going to be it for this video i really hope that you guys find this video really helpful if you plan on playing overlook bay let me know down below in the comments <laughs> also guys they did just leak their halloween update like a few like sneak peeks and stuff which i am so excited um right now oh yeah i just got the 30 minutes play for 30 minutes so i got 50 gems woohoo all right, guys, so that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys found this video helpful, please give this video a like and also hit the subscribe button. I have a goal of reaching, I think it's like 4,000 subscribers at the end of this year. Hopefully we can reach that goal. If not, that's totally fine. But thank you guys so much for watching and all of your constant support. And I will see you guys in my next video.